All right, guys, ready for some hands-on challenge? Let's do this. Okay, import data using the data import wizard. So, um, Salesforce is providing the CSV file. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Right click, save link as, contacts to import. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my documents folder. I'm gonna save this guy. And I am going to open the file. On my other monitor. One second. Let me change this guy. UCSV. Oh. Come on. It says I already have the file name exactly that. So I'm going to use a different file name. Open the file. There we go. So we have a first name, last name, cell phone number, email, salutation, and title. So we are going to import this into the contact object. So contact is a standard Salesforce object, right? So for this particular challenge, we are going to go along with Salesforce and forget about our student teacher objects and focus on their standard object. So let's go ahead and launch our trailhead, okay? So. The instruction is use name and then map all the fields in the CSV field, contact fields, and then map cell to mobile. Okay, do not modify or delete the important data till you have successfully verified the challenge from here. Let's go ahead, launch. And where do we go? Do you remember? Yep, setup. Setup. Pop that up and here data import wizard. All right. So on the data import wizard, we are going to launch the wizard here. And since this is a contact object, we are going to choose here standard, standard Salesforce object and accounts and contacts. We are going to add new records all right add new records and i'm going to just choose this okay csv choose the file documents this guy choose your file and i'm going to hit next here okay there you go so we have this f name l name cell and then this is already automatically mapped Salutation and title. This is the fields on the Excel or the document, right? See this guy here? F name, L name. So F name is here. L name, cell, email, salutation, and title, right? It's all here. Now we are going to map F name is first name, L name is last name, cell to mobile, your mobile or cell phone number. Okay, let's map. Click the map here. And you can search on it, right? First name. Contact first name, see here? Right. Map. Map again. L name is last name. So I'm going to type last name. There. Click on that and map. One more. Cell phone to what? Mobile number. Mobile number map right so cell phone to mobile l name to last name f name to first name we are done so john sarah george this is the first name dodge smith dapper last name the phone number the email the salutation mr miss doctor whoa svp of sales senior vice 
president of sales, senior sales rep, sounds what? Sounds what? What do you call it? Sounds important, right? Director of healthcare. Look at that. But they're all just people. This is just John. Good old John. This is just Sarah. This is just George, right? They're all just kids. Maybe a bit grown up. But grown up kids, right? So next. Okay, map field 6. And map 0, which is good. So start the import. Bada bing, bada boom. Whoa, no failed record, which is good. So everything is processed. Now, how do we check? Every time we go to the data import, look at this. It's going back to the old classic user interface. I'm going to switch back to Lightning. And I'm going to go to the, my contacts object, right? Not the students. This is the Salesforce standard object, contacts. And not the recently viewed, if you just go to recently viewed, because we never view a contact record before, it's blank. So you say, oh, it didn't work. Where is all the data? Oh, I messed up. No, just change this and all contacts. Bada bing, bada boom. So we have all the imported contacts here. So we're good to go, right? I'm going to go back here and verify the challenge and get 500 points. Three, come on, two, one. A long pause. Boom, assessment complete. There you go, you have an additional 500 points and we've just finished the data import, what course, the export Oh, this is the next one, export data, okay? So I'll see you on the next course. Good job.